Hey, Carlos, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Thank you so much for speaking with me today and accepting this free video. So today I'm going to go over a few tips that you can start using right away. That's going to help with your online presence and to get more of those leads coming in. Now it's important to note that nearly 70% of all your organic leads are going to come from this website. So it is going to be really important that you get your website fully optimized so you can start capturing those leads. So as you can see, we are on your website. You do have a good looking website. Um, it looks like you have a separate page for each one of your services, which is exactly what you want. Okay, it looks like you serve all of San Mateo County in the greater Bay Area. So that's a lot of service areas. So you're definitely going to need a different page for each of those communities. Um, these should have their own pages if they don't. I'm not seeing any interlinking between pages. So uh, if they don't have their own separate pages, they really need their own separate pages. So you can be found for those additional services as well. Um, let's see, testimonials are good. Okay, so you are listing the different communities you service, but none of these have their own pages. So these are all going to need their own pages with their own keywords and their own original content for each of the services that you provide in those areas. That way you can be found in each of those communities for your services. So Google does not rank your website based on appearance. <clears throat> your website is ranked based on content. Content is key and you need a lot of it. Google wants a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words on your homepage focused around your local buyer intent keywords. Um, so those are going to be the words people are actively searching on Google for the services you're offering in your service area. So you're definitely going to want to dial in your content on your home page and also make sure you're following those standards on your service pages and service area pages as well. You need to have 150 words for every keyword you're trying to target. All of your pages need original content and should be going after their own um, buyer intent keywords for each of those services. Google has robots called crawlers that go and index all of these pages looking for that original content so they can pull out those keywords, index them, and rank you so that they can put you in front of your customers when they're searching for your services. Um, Swift Restoration is one of your, is your top organic competitor for water restoration in San Francisco. Um, they have a decent website. They have separate pages for their services. Um, they do have quite a bit more content than you. They are using a few more of those local buyer intent keywords, focusing on their service area. The content of these reviews do count towards your content goals, so that's good. Um, so in order to beat these guys, you're going to need to make sure you have more content and you're focused in on those buyer intent keywords, and you're going to want to build out those service area pages as well. That's one thing these guys are really missing, so they're missing quite a bit of traffic because of that. Now, a website by itself isn't going to be found. It does need to be supported by search engine optimization. So looking quickly here, you have a rating of a 0.4 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google doesn't trust your website yet. And that's 100% because you're referring domains and backlinks. You do need a lot of backlinks, but they have to be of good quality backlinks. Not all backlinks are created equal. 
Your backlinks and referring domains need to be highly authoritative, meaning that they are directly related to your industry and services. And they also need to be do follows. Google is only going to give you credit for one backlink per referring domain. Everything else they're going to look at is spam. So it is really important your focus is on those referring domains. Quickly looking, it looks like 76% of your referring domains are do follows. So you have 26 that are actually helping your website right now. So you're going to need more of those than your top competitor in each service area. You have been indexed with 52 keywords, and you are seeing an average of 18 people to your website per month. So you're missing out on a ton of traffic by not being optimized. Looking at your keywords, you have one main keyword, and this is your um, branding. That's on your homepage. Everything else are on the second page or later. And it looks like most of these are going to be considered... Um, national keywords, you really want to focus on those local buyer intent keywords because these national keywords, um, anybody in the country could click on it, land on your page, realize that you don't service their area and bounce off. So what you're wanting to capture are the people in your service area so that they're converting to customers. You really want to dial in on those keywords. Looking at your competitor, they have a low score of a 1.3 with over 800 backlinks. So that just goes to show that not all backlinks are created equal. <coughs> Out of their 91 referring domains, only 59 of those are do follow. So in order to beat these guys, you will need more than 59 do follow high authority referring domains. They have been indexed for over 200 keywords, and they are getting 80, 82 people to their website on average per month. Now, your backlinks are really critical because they also are what's going to help you to rank your keywords. So you need to also be linking these backlinks to your keywords so they can rank to the first page of Google, and you can be found for each of your services in all of your service areas. Now, um, this is the Google Maps section or Google My Business page. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section um, for each service area and your relative keywords because 30% of people go straight to the maps and don't go anywhere else. So when you're not in the top three, you're sending all, the all of those leads to your competitors. Now, in order to be in this top three, there are several factors, but the most important are citations which is going to be the name of the business and address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of places like Yelp, Yellow Pages, Facebook, etc. So you're going to need a lot more of those than your top competitor. And when you follow all of these tips I've provided you today, your website can be number one across Google for each of your services and service areas using those buyer intent keywords correctly. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it helpful and that you can start using these tips and gaining more of those organic leads. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.